Hi beautiful people, it's your girl Faye. I'm back again Kamakawa, that is Swahili for us always. Uh, so I'm here at uh, Lord Egerton Castle and uh, I'm here to show you what uh, this castle looks like. Uh, so I'm hoping that you're going to have fun and enjoy this video. Because uh, so far from what you can see, this is such a beautiful place and uh, it's old but uh, when you look at it, it's uh, like uh, it's new. So. Uh, come along with me and uh, let's see what is uh, inside. So Lord Maurice Egerton was uh, the last in his uh, lineage. Let me give you a short story of uh, what this castle holds and uh, how it came to be and uh, why uh, Lord William Egerton is uh, the last in uh, his uh, lineage or rather the last Lord Egerton uh, that uh, we had. Uh, so to begin with, uh, Lord Egerton was uh, in the army so uh, during the World War he won or so rather his crew won. <laughs> And uh, so he was uh, gifted this land uh, as uh, a prize for his uh, like uh, winning or rather his uh, victory. And so upon being gifted uh, this land, uh, Lord William Egerton came and built uh, this uh, house that you see here. It's a two-roomed house and later built uh, this three-bedroomed uh, house and uh, invited Princess uh, Victoria uh, from Austria and uh, the princess called this. A dog's kennel so that uh, really hurt uh, the lord and uh, he decided to build a castle and uh, this took him about uh, 10 years and uh, everything used to build uh, this castle was all imported so you can imagine importing everything from the stones the windows everything is imported uh, so he was really determined uh, to impress the princess and uh, Sadly, uh, the princess called uh, this beautiful castle that you see here, uh, she called it uh, a horse's table. So she said that uh, the Lord has upgraded from a dog's kennel to a horse's table. Do you think this is a horse's table? Surely. I'm curious to see what uh, this place holds. Let's see, is it really a dog's stable uh, or rather a horse's stable? Because uh, looking at it from outside, you can tell it's a very uh, big and beautiful castle, so let's see whether she was right or wrong. Come along. So guys, from the door, uh, so where I'm standing right now, this is uh, the reception. Uh, so whenever any visitor comes to the castle, uh, they would uh, first come to this uh, reception. And uh, on the farthest end, uh, we have the living room, or rather this is uh, the sitting room area. Uh, so once the guest is uh, from the, the sitting room and uh, on this sitting room you can see there are two doors. Uh, so that door is uh, leading to the back side of the house uh, which uh, so the servants or rather the cooks and everyone when they come in to bring food they don't get to interfere with any other room. And uh, so let's go to the other side from, the, from this uh, reception area. Uh, so that is going upstairs, uh, so this is uh, the ballroom and uh, as you can see this ballroom is uh, quite huge and uh, one thing that uh, you can note about uh, this place is lighting, like uh, I'm recording this without any extra lighting and you can see it's quite uh, lit and uh, uh, there is this big thing over here which is so so huge, uh, so this is uh, the oven, uh, so as you can see, it's quite huge, considering the technology back then was not so advanced. Uh, so things were humongous, they were big. Then uh, this is uh, just uh, the emblem, or rather the logo, of uh, the Egerton Castle. It's a lion and uh, those arrows. Uh, so yeah, this is quite interesting. And uh, I've noted that uh, this is in uh, so many places in uh, this castle. As you can see above the organ, there's another one over there. Uh, so 
coming to this other end, there is uh, the display, and uh, as you can see, there are pictures portraying uh, the Lord Egerton uh, family. Uh, so, yeah, that is the family as you can see, and uh, this is the Lord Egerton himself. Uh, that is the mother. Uh, so, yeah, it's quite interesting, and uh, I love the fact that uh, pictures keep memories, so we can uh, see all this despite being so many years ago. And uh, this is a grand piano. As you can see, it's quite uh, quite big. If you play piano, let me know how how is this? Because it looks so big, and uh, modern day piano is kind of small. Uh, so this uh, piano is uh, connected to the organ, and uh, so when uh, uh, the person that is playing piano plays over here, the sound is generated all the way to the organ and uh, upstairs, and uh, like. Uh, the Lord himself can listen to music or rather the play uh, from uh, anywhere in this room, so in this house, so in this castle, let me not even call it a house, castle, so you can see it's quite uh, humongous and uh, these others are just uh, some of the stuff that uh, were kept from uh, him passing, uh, so these were music and sound systems over here. And as you can see, the radio, like uh, the speakers, they are quite big compared to modern day uh, technology or rather equipment. And uh, yeah, so glasses over there, plates, these are stuff that uh, the Lord himself used or uh, were used during his era. So yeah, then uh, over there is uh, the castle at uh, England. So this is uh, the castle that... Uh, inspired him to build this uh, so the present castle in uh, Igaton like in uh, the place is called actually Igaton so this is uh, uh, Nakuru County uh, so the castle is uh, a resemblance of that quite uh, a resemblance and uh, so this other side these are just uh, picture collections because uh, he was uh, quite an explorer and uh, he was also a farmer so whatever you see here these are just pictures that uh, he took and uh, during his time yeah so that is it for the ballroom and uh, as you can see there's a lot of uh, glass display so he was also quite a collector uh, so let me know what you think so far is this not uh, like uh, to your standard because uh, the princess said this is uh, not to her standard it's uh, a hostess table remember so come along Lord, this would have been her room, and uh, as you can see, it's quite uh, big, and uh, the lighting again, like the room is so deep, and uh, these are just uh, pictures that uh, have been put here, these are the places of Kenya, uh, so this has been done years later, uh, as just uh, to keep the culture going, and uh, to also portray the faces of uh, Kenya. So let's go to the other room. Uh, so from the princess uh, room, this is uh, the walk-in closet and uh, as you can see it has uh, a lot of space and uh, yeah it has a lot of space for sure and again quite lit. Remember I'm not using any extra lighting and uh, by the way so you note uh, as you can see the door is written uh, 27. Uh, so this uh, castle uh, has uh, about uh, 52 rooms, mm -hmm. so uh, rather 52 doors. Uh, yeah, so it's quite big, 52 doors. Uh, uh, so from the closet we have uh, the toilet. Uh, so this is uh, the princess toilet, uh, or rather the one that would have been the Lord's wife toilet. And uh, when we come here, this is uh, the bathroom, or rather the like uh, the room where she will be taking her bath and uh, as you can see this thing over here is quite interesting uh, so this thing you see here is for hanging the towel and uh, something interesting about it is uh, that uh, it's a uh, kit so like uh, when the princess is taking shower you put your towel here you take a bath 
once we're done, the towel is also warm because the, the thing is uh, heated. Uh, so you imagine like taking a bath, a warm bath, and covering yourself in a warm towel. Quite interesting, right? And remember, we are talking about 1938, so that is quite uh, interesting. Uh, so when you come to this other end, we get to this room. Uh, so this is uh, the family living room. Uh, as you can see, it has uh, that fireplace for keeping the place warm. And uh, again, when this, so the images you see here is uh, just images from uh, the Chinese culture and all that. So it's uh, just pictures once again. Yeah, and uh, on the other end, you can see this uh, open uh, cabinet. Uh, so this is again for display. So you can tell that uh, in terms of uh, aesthetics, the Lord was quite uh, specific with what he wanted. And uh, so come along with me from the living room. Uh, we come to this uh, side. This is uh, the toilet. As you can see, the uh, toilet is uh, for the living room. So when uh, someone is from the living room, you just come to the toilet here and uh, help yourself. And uh, when you come here, this is uh, this is a safe. And uh, as you can see, it, it's quite like if if you can touch this, uh, it's quite heavy. I don't know what kind of metal this is, uh, but it's quite heavy. Uh, this is uh, the safe and. Uh, yeah, you can see it's big. Uh, so this is where the Lord would put his uh, jewelries and uh, money and uh, anything of uh, value that he wants to keep protected. And again, another display place. So in terms of display, quite, quite uh, on it. Uh, so coming on this end, this is uh, again a uh, bathroom. This is now the bathroom that belongs to the Lord, and uh, again, this thing still makes me like uh, excited because I can't, I can just imagine myself wrapping myself in a towel that is warm after a shower. Wow, quite interesting. That's that's just the sink, and again, the room is well lit. You can tell, right? Uh, so coming to this other end, we are getting to the Lord's bedroom. So this is the Lord's bedroom. And uh, so, as you can see, it's quite uh, like uh, children use this place also for like for learning and all that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's the Lord's uh, bedroom. And uh, something interesting about this. So I was just asking, how comes like uh, the Lord has uh, his own bedroom, and the princess was to also have uh, her own bedroom? So why in their ma they would have been married? So I'm told. Uh, that uh, the Lord had to invite the princess over to his room. Quite interesting. Let me know. Do you invite your wife? Let me know in the comment section because that, that is quite interesting. I feel like uh, it's, uh, I don't know, in a way it's good, in a way it's not good. Let me know. What do you think? Would you love to be inviting your wife over to your room or rather you sharing a room? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, so, this is the uh, the dark room. Uh, so this is uh, where, remember the prince, our, sorry, remember the Lord uh, was uh, so into, was such an explorer and uh, taking pictures. This is uh, the dark room where the pictures will be processed. Uh, so when you close this room, it's quite dark. Let's close and see. Uh, it's uh, quite dark. Very, very dark. Can you see me? Of course, no. So this is the dark room, and uh, yeah, it's quite dark. So now let's head over to to the third floor. Again, when I talk about lighting, I mean it like this place is quite neat. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, so this here was. Uh, the Lord's study room. Uh, so as you can see, it is uh, quite big. Uh, so on this other end is uh, a library kind of a place. So you pick a book from here, you come to this other end and uh, study. So you can tell one thing, the Lord was quite uh, learned 
and uh, I believe that was uh, a culture back then for you to be a successful or uh, a prominent person. You also had to be learned or rather educated, so you can tell from that. And uh, ooh. wow, 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 the sun is just hitting me different. Huh? So this is uh, an open space for just relaxing, chilling and uh, seeing for yourself, seeing the place for yourself and uh, quite interesting. Let me know, this is so big, coming to this other end. Huh? Uh, so as you can see, there's an opening over here. What do you think this is? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, just to let you know, this is connected to the organ down uh, from the first floor. And uh, so on, uh, like from here, the sound would uh, come from here, like the person playing the piano down there, the sound is uh, uh, like uh, distributed or rather the sound comes from this place. And uh, from this uh, humongous uh, balcony or rather open space, the Lord could uh, listen to or rather would listen to music and uh, relax. So let me know, what do you think? Is this a horse's stable? Let me know, cause uh, this is definitely not a horse's stable. This place is uh, quite big. The Lord would, uh, ju sh should have just taken someone else. Maybe I should have been born then. <laughs> <laughs> let me know in the comment section, would you have said this is a horse's stable? Yeah. <music>as i showed you uh, then this other one is the second house that he built that uh, he invited the princess and uh, the princess called it a dog's kennel and uh, just see the background like uh, the area is quite big and uh, it's quite well maintained and uh, just so you know like uh, from this place where i'm standing if you look to the farthest end the hill that was all the Lord's land, like the entire place, round, not just this side, but round. Uh, so guys, now we are going to the back side of uh, the house, so come along. Again, space is everything here, that's here, you can't even touch the ends. You have such space because uh, back in Nairobi, the houses are so tiny. The corridors, you just walk by yourself. <laughs> wow. So if you notice, nothing has been uh, done to this uh, like uh, floor or anything. Uh, and as you can see, this is quite detailed. Like uh, the details on uh, everything is quite uh, amazing. Again, lighting is everything.
Somebody na kuti dabo. Aya this is uh, now the changing room uh, for the employees. This was the changing room, and uh, rem uh, let me just let you know this uh, about this castle. Uh, so when the princess refused uh, the lord himself, so the lord got uh, so mad or rather got some attitude towards women and uh, he refused no man should be seen around this castle so he, his uh, employees were all men so this is where they would change and uh, yeah so he never married actually so that is how his uh, generation ended and uh, yeah quite interesting quite sad he should have seen me <laughs> this is uh, the back door just leaving outside and uh, on this side after the kitchen this is the, the laundry area uh, so the employees used to clean uh, clothes or rather including the lord's uh, clothes uh, using uh, their hands because uh, there were no machines for washing that so they would uh, clean the clothes over here uh, these are the two places they would use and uh, they would not hang the clothes here most of the people hang clothes outside but the lord uh, like uh, uh, created this or rather uh, like uh, built this so after washing the clothes uh, using the hand so hand wash you bring them here and uh, that's how they dry uh, so yeah this is uh, just a space maybe storage for the chemicals and everything uh, then uh, this is uh, the boiler uh, so it would uh, heat the, the, the place and uh, the clothes will dry quite interesting right let me know in the comment section what you think so far so guys, again, when I talk about lighting, this is another balcony or rather a veranda. And uh, as you can see, the area, it looks quite uh, big. I'm even imagining myself just being the princess and the lord's wife and just waking up and uh, having such a view. How amazing is that? So anyway, just come along. Uh, so this is uh, the power room. And uh, as you can see, there are so many uh, like uh, equipment. And uh, so this is uh, the old ones, but uh, our Kenyan uh, sup power supply company uh, put up uh, this. Uh, so this is the only new one. The rest were there. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's quite big. Quite, quite big. And uh, can you tell that technology comes with, uh, like the advancement of technology is quite interesting. Because as you can see, now KPLC, our uh, power supply company, uh, only has this in the area. So this is able to supply electricity to the entire place. But uh, back then, all these were used. Quite interesting, right? So yeah, this is uh, the power place. So this is uh, the first uh, guest room. And uh, as you can see, it's quite big. And uh, something that I noted, you should let me know, like uh, if you're from London, UK, is this a culture thing or not? Because uh, over here, in every room, I've noted that uh, there's a sink inside the room. And uh, that is quite uh, interesting. It's not something that happens here. Uh, so let me know if you're from England, England or uh, UK specifically. Is this a cultural thing that uh, you have to have a sink inside the room? Uh, so yeah, this is just the closet, and uh, yeah, so uh, the, the the whatever you see over here. Uh, so this is uh, not from back then. This is just Ngata uh, is uh, this area. Uh, so Ngata is uh, the place, and uh, there's a school named Ngata Primary School, and uh, it's in uh, collaboration with uh, the Mosley School in uh, England. Uh, so they are in collaboration and uh, work together. Uh, to at least improve the the area and all that. Uh, so these are just uh, pictures. This is the England Castle and uh, this is the uh, Nakuru or, or rather Egerton. Uh, so the Lord Egerton Castle and uh, you can see a resemblance kind of. Yes. From uh, this guest room, uh, there is uh, this washroom over here. Uh, so something you should note, every room had its uh, own guest, uh, like a uh, washroom or rather clock room or uh, whichever way you call it. Uh, so this is uh, the one that belongs to that uh, guest room, uh, just a toilet. And uh, after the toilet, you have the bathtub. And uh, something quite interesting that uh, I would love to know also if you come from England or the UK 
is the is a bathtub a culture because uh, I've not seen any shower head in this place so let me know or it's considered classy let me know in the comment section so guys from the washroom uh, what you see over here is the door uh, so this is uh, a special door for guests and I love the details again you can see the Lord Egerton uh, symbol over there uh, so this is quite detailed and uh, so this is the door that uh, the guests would, would uh, use uh, instead of using the main door they would use uh, this door uh, so that they feel as part of uh, the family and uh, now they can access the guest room and uh, yeah feel quite at home uh, so yeah this is just a corridor and uh, this is uh, the second uh, guest room and uh, as you can see lighting is quite a necessity for uh, this castle and uh, quite interesting and uh, quite unique uh, this is the uh, like this is african and uh, the, this is from uh, i feel like it's from the maasai culture kind of because uh, the maasai are the, the community in kenya that is known for build work and all that so this is definitely from the maasai culture and uh, as you can see uh, this is a bed this is a bed that was used back then for this room so this is a facade and uh, a big closet and uh, a dressing table and uh, once again a sink once again a sink let me know is this a culture thing because every room has a sink and uh, for me it's quite interesting because uh, as a lady you just remove your makeup here wash your face feel right at home so yeah the dressing table and uh, I love this. Wow. This is a this is a, a stool or rather a table. Uh, and uh, the chair. Quite unique, quite interesting. I love this. Uh, so there's this other thing over here. This is a closet, but a walk-in closet, or rather a walk-in, not even a walk-in, a walk-in closet. Suitcase. Uh, suitcase actually. This is a suitcase, a walk-in suitcase. So Sorry about that. <laughs> it has a hanger over here. Uh, so the Lord would have his uh, clothes there. It has uh, all these uh, drawers. As you can see, it has drawers. And uh, all these are just drawers. And uh, let me show you something quite interesting. Let me show you some magic. Huh? So. standing uh, right now is a door and uh, as you can see uh, this door is quite uh, detailed i love the decor on it and uh, yeah it looks so good so come along with me and uh, let's see the inside uh, so inside here as you can see uh, still lighting and uh, this is uh, the toilet and uh, if you thought that uh, by being at the reception you could uh, access the castle anyhow Lee, no way uh, so this is uh, the toilet and the bathroom uh, so privacy was uh, key for this uh, castle as you can see uh, so come along with me let's go to the cellar and uh, see uh, what uh, is uh, in this cellar and uh, 
as you can see it's quite dark going downstairs so this is uh, the wine cellar and uh, as you noted coming down it was quite dark uh, so this is uh, on the lower side of uh, the house uh, as uh, i'm feeling right now this place is uh, quite uh, cold uh, so this is uh, where the uh, the lords are uh, wine and all that will be because uh, remember this is a lord so wine So as you've seen the castle is uh, quite big and uh, beautiful and uh, I'm just thinking to myself uh, if you were the princess would you have said yes to this uh, marriage proposal or uh, you would have turned it down because uh, calculating uh, the time that the castle was finished that is uh, in 1954. Uh, so based on the year of birth of uh, the Lord, that is uh, 1874, so it must have been uh, 80 years. Uh, so I'm thinking the princess said no, maybe because of uh, the age, because uh, four years later the Lord died. And uh, so that is just my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section.